All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this lovely June 27th, on this lovely Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Amy, Mark, good to see you. Steve, Craig, look at all those names just popping up from all over the place. Mark, Judy, Grant, Craig, good to see you. Donna, Frank, Tom, good to see you. Gene, all right, good, good, good. Welcome, welcome, we'll be back. Looks like IQ's back on play again. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Stock took a huge hit. Um, <laughs> I Listen, I told you this, uh, you know, when, when the stock first took off. I said, I did not like the stock going up this fast. I said, I would have just loved the stock to get to 45 by the end of the year. Unfortunately, it didn't get there to the end of the year. It got there at the end of the month. And wherever there's big volatility, there's always going to be big catastrophes, big profit taking. That's what you're happening. I end up jumping back into the position in IQ. So, um, you know, I uh, wish I bought it somewhere around the 32s, but got it right around the 36 price range, you know, right now. now. But uh, stock's been awfully volatile. Very, very dangerous, guys. Also, the Hoya is also making a big move, the H-U-Y-A. But before we do that and talk about that, uh, yeah, Dave, you know, you're right. It's, it's, it's doing – It's I have been a smart uh, to trading IQ. You can. You know, after a while – very, very volatile stock. You got to know how to trade it, but uh, but you got to know when to fold, which when it tanked, you know, when it hit 45, it went right down to like 32. I mean, that's pretty pretty nasty drop, but um, but it's doing good so far, so we'll, we're enjoying it. Anyway, a lot of things going on. I want to get right into talking about what we traded uh, and what you guys did really well on. Once again, without my help, because that's what it's all about. Our job here is just to, to teach you how to play the game, but it's you to be part of the room to learn how to work together and make money together. But there are a lot of good stocks that did, did pretty well. So before we go through the watch list, let's talk about what did make some big moves. Uh, first of all, the TR. XC. Nice little move right here with this one. You could see stock went from, you know, hold, let me fix the let me fix the time frame over here so you guys can see a little bit more what happened yesterday. So right there you can see the stock went from four dollars four ninety all the way to about five seventy. Very cheap little stock. So it's been pretty good for us on the swing trade. But uh, we've been trading the stock a few times, but the last couple of days, stock did pretty well. That one, not a huge winner, but not bad. I'll take the buck move for all of you that got it. The CLDC trade, this one was probably one of the nicest ones yesterday. $2 move right out of the gate. Within about 30 minutes, you guys were done. Ran away to 450 You know what? That's how we do it. You know, that's what we're looking for. Great pre-market. Orders came in. Bam, you guys had it before pre-market. You did well. Once again, if you missed it, don't worry about it. There's a bunch of them that are moving this morning. But anyway, that one did pretty well. IQ, you know, great, great uh, pop early as the last couple of days. There's the other one that you guys did really well on also. Uh, but she's gapping up pretty nice. Obviously, IQ is going to be on our watch list again. IBIL. That one also was an, a great move yesterday. Once again, two-hour day trader. Stock goes from 850 to 1450. This stock just a couple of days ago was at a two-dollar price range. I mean, it, 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 the only thing about the ABIL, it's not a level one stock anymore. This stock, you know, which we, you know, when we always learn in class, you got to know what level trader you are, you know. But to make that much big move, uh, the stock had some little nasty shakes. But uh, for some of you here that are in the three category, four and five, you guys killed it on that one. That one did great. And so that one was great. And last but not least, but the XBIO, we've been trading this the last couple of days. That thing's just doing great, 450 to 850. You could see that, you know, once again, another really, really nice move right there. All right, but uh, but a couple of a couple of great winners. Everyone did really well. Philippe made about a dollar. Ron made a dollar. Dave, he made two dollars and seventy six cents yesterday, along with another buck fifty five. I mean, guys, let's give him a round of applause. I mean, that was great. They made a lot of money yesterday. You, listen, you timed up by a thousand shares, which is what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> you do the numbers, adds up pretty damn quickly. So everybody did pretty well on that one. Anyway, so that's what we missed. Uh, missed. And listen, the reason why we talk about what happened yesterday in the cyber group room is because I want you guys to realize that. Every day is a new day. So as a day trader, you got to get there early. Early bird gets the money, you know, and, you know, and some of us already ha already been set up in a couple of positions already. But you got to realize if you miss those opportunities, that's OK. Today's a brand new day. You know what? You had a bad day at work. 
No problem. Tomorrow's another day. You don't quit tomorrow. And, you know, quit that day and says, you know what? I don't like this job. You keep sticking it out. And you know what? You're going to miss this opportunity. You're going to miss that opportunity. You know, missing opportunities are great uh, learning uh, situations because the more you miss them, the more when you see it come up, the more you know how aggressive to be. And that's what it's all about. Remember, you're not look. You can't get them all. OK, this is not a Jimmy Buffett. All right. You're not going to get them all. You just want to you just trying to eat, you know, get those small little winners and enjoy it. And that's what it's all about. But that's the way how you do it when it goes on to trading. All right. So anyway, what's going on this morning? So anyway, today is hump day. Today is Wednesday. Big, big day today, by the way. I am doing phase three today. So for all the gold, platinum, diamond students. You guys are going to be joining me for our our last two uh, our last cycle of our training classes. So we're going to go we're going to go right into it. Um, so everyone who is a student, you should have that email. And uh, let's go out there. We're going to trade together. Take everything that we've learned and we're going to put it to the test. Now remember, it's not about me. Uh, we're going to go out there. You're going to trade. I'm going to tell you when you're right, when you're wrong. We're going to get into good positions. We're going to get into bad positions. And you're going to tell me how to get out of these bad positions. I'll tell you if you did it right and wrong. Very, very important you guys are in that class. Once again, this is the cycle when we do it, and this is when you got to be in it. And we'll talk about it. You know, in this, for some of you that are not students, we'll tell you a little bit about um, when you come back and I do the afternoon and the meetings later on. Anyway, what's going on this morning regarding about the trades? Okay, so we got IQ on our trade. So we're doing pretty good on that little pre market, guys, pre gaming. You know, there you go, 8 a.m. Stock was 35. I got in at 36 around the 8.30 time frame. So I'm doing pretty well right now. Hopefully some of you guys got into that pregame also. Uh, the other one is the HUYA. That one also is following suit with it. Stock took a big hit. Um, I feel like this uh, HUYA is a little bit more volatile than IQ. I don't know. I mean, this one looked like it came a little bit lower. But it's like it's like, it's like one's like trading like almost like a warrant. But um, HUYA is doing pretty well. Everyone probably heard about the uh, the DFG uh, – was it the DFBG uh, trade? That one, oh, my God. I mean, that was pretty interesting. Right out of the gate, that thing, you could see it right here. ran from $1.50 all the way to six fifty. Stock, as of now, is up 400, uh, 450%. And that wasn't even the high. It was actually up two bucks more higher than that. Guys, stay away from this thing, okay? Just it, it's not what was something we're gonna look at. You know, I don't like to trade stocks up that much. You know, um, that up that much in pre in in, in pre market. But uh, but there were a couple other ones that we did find. Okay, so we'll start off with this one right here on the biggest uh, on the biggest percentage gainer on the trade station platform is the C A R A. C-A-R-A is not terrible. We traded the stock. You guys remember this stock we traded uh, not too long ago. She's gapping up pretty nice. Only thing is she's starting to build a little bit of a Fausto flag on the downside. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Stock order traded 577,000 shares. This one also up big in pregame. Not a terrible up 20%. Not like the 450%. But uh, this one, we did really well with this arc. I want you to keep a very close eye on this one. A lot of you remember this stock. We traded this stock back here. Okay, this was back in March. And this stock, we trade at $5. And this thing ran to $65. Some, who, who remembers this stock? Okay, who remembers this one? We killed it on this one. Uh, this is what paid for a whole month of March. And uh, you know what? Keep an eye on it. Ken, you remember that, right? You know, Now, this is what you have to do. One of the big things we taught you in phase one and phase two is, is how to journal. Go back to your journals, what we taught you in class, and go back and review what happened back then. Some of you made money. Some of you didn't. Some of you didn't make enough of it. See what happened what we taught you about your notes and everything. Uh, and remember, because exactly what happened then is going to happen now. All right. So always keep an eye on that one, too. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. All right. So anyway, another couple of stocks also here making some news. You got the stock I right here. Uh, this one is is look going up a little bit nicer, you know, up 16 percent. Nice little trend in pre-market. Let me just fix my my chart here. Put a two minute chart. Uh, maybe a one minute might look a little better. Yeah. So you can see you got a nice little move right there. It just made a pop right now. So that one, a little bit nicer. Nice little trend, testing all time highs. That one's pretty good also. And keep an eye on that. WWE, my God, this will just not stop, right? So anyway, WWE, 
I had some friends of mine that were kicking themselves in the butt regarding about uh, they wish they still had this stock. Some, I had some friends of mine that are such big uh, WWF fans, and they had it when it was $20, and they, 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 they sold it. Uh, probably the only time you ever will buy a company because you love the company that much. And uh, now they're just killing themselves. They're driving themselves nuts. Anyway, so that one has also got a big move. It's It's been a really good swing trade, not more of a less a day trade. All right, so what is going on with AQ uh, XP? I can tell you what's going on. It's a pharmaceutical stock. And what do we all know about pharmaceutical stocks? Very bad drug, right? Well, what do we know about them? They don't come back. All right, so bottom fish all you want on that one, uh, but that one does not look too good. Anyway, another one that's also making some little headway right here, SMMT. Okay, what do we know about SMMT? It's another drug stock. What do we know about them? They don't come back. Um, also, another one. Look at this. I have never – I haven't seen this amount of losers – of that high, of that magnitude, as bad as today. P tie, another one. Guess it didn't work out too well for him. We did listen. We did pretty well on P tie. It went from six dollars all the way to eight. Good thing we got out of it because now it's down to two. All right. The only people try to average down on that one. They're not working out too well. Only thing I could say about the P tie, it, it looks like it might be testing some support levels. I think. Let me just double check on my chart. Yeah. Well. Maybe not. I think I see support levels at a dollar. <laughs> All right, so we might. Yep. So we'll keep an eye on that one. I went up a buck ever since I called it. Well, so somebody must be watching, huh? There we go. That was a nice little move right there. Look at that. That's why we're in the site. That's why we're here, right, uh, Dana? And uh, what else we got? I think that's about it. I didn't really like too much of everything out there um, on the losers list. You got GBOT, which is not terrible. GBT, I mean, at least that one um, is a little bit more of a, well, it's a pharmaceutical stock too. That's about it. Let me see. Is there anything else I want to keep an eye on? I'm just going to check out. I have another scanner here that I'm going to look at. You got GBOT, you got IQ. You know that. And I also know that some of you guys are looking at the dryers, D-R-Y-S. Uh, let's hold off on that one a little bit. That stock, let me tell you, what a nasty stock. Something's going on. Hey, Dana, you know a little bit more about it more than I do. But I got out of it. Um, I bought it. I took a nice little profit in it. It started trending down on me. and It, wasn't, it was breaking lower lows. It's almost like easy to read um, what we taught you in class. But um, I'll, I'll be interested in buying it back. But keep an eye on that DRYS. It did great on Friday. All right. So those are our picks, everyone. So I'm going to put DRYS on my list. All right. So uh, – <laughs> Grant says a lot of us are watching you. Well, I want to be moving markets. I mean, listen, we're not broadcasting this live like some, you know, uh, on YouTube or anything. For you know, like I said, you got to be you got to be in the cyber group room to understand it. But you know what, YouTube, to YouTube and and uh, Twitter and Facebook people are going to get this in the next ten minutes. So uh, let them make their uh, their judgment from there. Hopefully they'll come back and join us a little bit earlier to see what it's all about. But in the meantime, guys, listen, we got phase three. It's coming up in the next 15 minutes. I want to get ready for actually 10 minutes. Some of you that are not a student want to know a little bit more about the classes. Make sure you talk to your education advisor. Just remember, everyone, you have to learn before you can earn. It's not about watching Fausto or Josh or Eric or John or any, you know, Dan, any all the traders here at CTU or anyone else. It's about you figuring it out on your own. You got to be in class. The most important time to learn how to trade is not being in the room, but being in class to learn from those mistakes. So we got to start from there. So I'll see you all in there, guys. All right. In the meantime, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. If I don't see you in class, I'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.